Well, good evening, everyone. It seems I've been granted an opportunity. So today, I'm actually going out on a wild camp and I'm back in the Brecon Beacons and I'm heading to Llyny Fan 4, which is one of two lakes, however you call them, um, in the Brecon Beacons. And then I'm heading gradually uphill and then I've got a short, steep climb when I get to the lake to head up to the trig point, which I believe is at 802 meters. Again, is absolutely fantastic since my last video the penny fan hike the weather hasn't really changed so I've been moved on to night shift and I've been given another day off so it was a perfect opportunity to get up here and on my night off to do a wild camp so yeah I've not I'm not walking too far because I've had to um, I've started at four o'clock so the cars parked down the bottom of the hill and I'm slowly making my way up to the top. By the time I get to Lini Fan 4, the, uh, it shouldn't be too late and then I can see about making an ascent up the steep, up the steep part to get to the trick point up top. Lockdown restrictions have finally been eased a couple of days ago. I know some of you guys have already been out wild, camp, wild camping. I'm still working in Pembroke and tonight seemed like a perfect opportunity with a night off to get on a wild camp. So finally, finally we can get out on a wild camp. Yeah, really looking forward to this one. Where I'm camping is not too far distance wise, just my last little bit when I get to the top is gonna to be rather steep. So uh, I'm sure I'll show you all that in the video. All of that's to come. So yeah, so really looking forward to it. So I finally made it to Clinny Van 4. I'm sorry about butchering the Welsh language. I, just, I can't get my head around some of these uh, some of these names. So I do apologise if I've offended anyone. Anyway, I've made it. I've got the I've got the lake behind me in the background. It's now time to head, or at least try to head uphill before it gets dark. It's now 10 to 6. Sunset it is at 8 o'clock. So I probably want to be set up around about half past seven. And uh, I'm just looking at it. And uh, it goes a long way. It's uh, rather steep. So I think it's gonna be time to break out the poles and uh, start making my way slowly up to the top of that. Yes!
So I finally made it to the top. I've got the lake just behind me down there in the, in the, um, below the drop. Uh, I've made it to the trig point. Obligatory touch of the trig point, 802 meters. So that's another peak bagged. So now uh, the sun is starting to go down. It is now seven o'clock. So I've got about another hour of light. So um, it's probably a good time to start looking for somewhere to actually set up. I found possibly a good spot just that there in the background. I don't know what these bags are. They've obviously got people working up here, fixing the paths and all that, but that there, just there, looks like a good spot maybe. So I'm just gonna go and check that out. It's not too far away and hopefully I'll be pitching up over there. So this looks as good a spot as any. I've dropped my bag off, so uh, I didn't go right on the edge because there was um, some construction work still going on there. So the last thing I need to do is to get disturbed in the morning. I should be up pretty early. I'm hopefully gonna try and catch a sunrise. It looks like I'm all set for a sunset, so <sighs> looking good. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Um, the trig point is literally just over this rise, which isn't very far at all. It literally took me about two minutes to walk back from there so yeah it looks like a glorious evening so i'm just going to get set up now and get the old get get the the lanshan 2 tent up it is a little bit breezy but nothing the lanshan 2 can't handle so the one thing i did forget to bring though earplugs so i'm hoping that's not going to be a problem for tonight it's only a gentle breeze so hopefully once the tent's up it shouldn't be too loud Well, that's it, Lanshan 2 is all set up in the background. Sorry it took so long, um, it's actually been a while. I think my last camp was up in the Shropshire Hills, I believe. Um, I'll drop a link up there on an info card up there in the top right hand corner for the last one that I did, but that was in between the last two lockdowns. So this is actually its second trip out and it's, how can I say, uh, it's been a while since I've set it up, so it's taken me a little bit longer than I'd have liked. I'm just gonna get all my gear sorted in the tent and then I'll bring you inside and then uh, get some dinner on. So tonight's menu, spaghetti bolognese and a can of cider and watch the sunset go down. Lovely. The sun is starting to poke behind some clouds. I don't know if you can see it in the background. I know the exposure's just changed, but there's a little bit of cloud there, so I don't think it's gonna be the best sunset in the world, but I'll tell you what, it's better than staying in the accommodation I've got. This has been a long time coming. Honestly, I recommend this to anyone. If you can get out and do it, do it. Oh, Ooh, was that the can of cider I just heard? I do believe it was. Don't mind if I do. Cheers. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah. Right then, dinner. Right, well, the sunset was a bit of a washout, so um, I've cut the video recording short. So I just thought I'd give you an insight as to what is in the tent. Obviously, it's the Lanshan 2 tent. So I'm just gonna do this while I've still got a little bit of light left, and then um, I'll basically be turning in for the night. I've had dinner. Um, very nice, very nice. The pasta bolognese from Expedition Foods is very good. So yeah, I said I brought, I've got the Trekology 2.0 Aluft pillow with the Climate Static V-Lux. I did a recording or a review of the Climate Static V-Lux in a few videos ago. So, and then the Trekology Aluft 2.0 pillow. Now, one thing I'm not sure if I actually featured in the previous wild camp has been that long since I've done it is the ice flame quilt. So 
Let me just get this into focus. So yeah, the Ice Flame quilt, um, I'm doubling up basically because uh, the weather is clear at night and the good days are absolutely gorgeous with sunshine but it does get really cold at night it's still we're still not into the summer months yet so I'm doubling up I've got my ice flame quilt and I have my snug pack softy it's upside down snug pack softy expansion four so basically the climate static velux isn't insulated so I am I'm doubling up basically so I can get a good night's sleep because the last thing I want to be doing is having to bug out of here in the middle of the night because I'm so cold. <clears throat> so hopefully, hopefully, those two things are going to be enough. I've also got my down jacket, my fleece obviously, hat and gloves. That should, fingers crossed, suffice. So sunrise tomorrow, I've got it on my watch. Sunrise tomorrow, let me see, is at six o'clock in the morning. So I'm gonna try and uh, get my head down now. Well, not now, but within the next, within the next hour. As you can see, the sunset wasn't brilliant. It's just been lost in the um, in the clouds, unfortunately. But above me is absolutely clear. So I'm going to get in the tent. Have my other side. I've got one more cider. Have my other cider, and then uh, I'll see if I can come out later on in the evening and see if I can capture any any starlight. I'm looking forward to that. Really looking forward to that. And I really hope you probably can't see it on camera, but it's a long, long way in the distance. If I just spin it around, I don't know if you can see it, but it looks like there's a fire. You probably can't see it. I'll tell you what, I'll spin the camera around. So it looks like that there is a fire way, way in the distance. I hope it's not something that's out of control. I'm sure it will show up on the news in the next couple of days. Sorry that there's a little bit of noise on the picture. I'm zoomed right in for you guys to see that because that is right in the distance but I'm really hoping that that's not a fire that's out of control. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to turn in, well, when I say turn in, turn in temporarily into the Lanshan, get a film on, drink a drink, wait for it to go dark. There's no stars out yet, but the moon, the moon is directly above me. So um, I'm just going to give it an hour, <clears throat> see what it's like. And then, yeah, I'm not sure if the cat, if my, because it's only my phone that I'm using. So I'm not sure if that'll capture any starlight. I've not had any opportunity to do it before, so. We'll see, but if I can get something, I'll get it. Um, and I'll see if I can, uh, yeah, I'll put it into the video. So that's another successful wild camp done. Um, I didn't show any of the packing away or anything like that because um, I wanted to try and catch the sunrise. Unfortunately, the clouds were there, so I've not been able to do that either. As you can see where I'm staying here, this is where I stayed last night. In fact, it took me a little bit of time to actually find out where I was because I absolutely have left no trace at all whatsoever. So that's another successful camp over and done with, or at least the night out as it's such. I'll be honest with you, I didn't sleep very well. Not because I was cold or anything or uncomfortable. I was just lying there and lying there and waiting for sleep to take me and it just didn't, but that's, that's me being in unfamiliar surroundings. So I'm just heading back up to the ridge. So what I was gonna do was head on round the ridge behind me and head towards another lake called Thinny Fan Fach, I think. Again, sorry I'm butchering the Welsh language. So I do apologize, but I am racing against the clock because I am going back onto night shift tonight. So I need to hustle and make my way back down to the car so I can get back to my digs and get my head down for a bit. So I am heading around the ridge a little bit. So the trick point is behind me. So I'm heading in this direction, which is north. And then eventually, that's the ridge line. If I followed it round, I will hit there, which is a spur sticking out. And I'll go down the slope and then turn right and hit Clinny Fan 4, which is the lake that I was hit yesterday, but from the other end, and then steady walk back down to the car.
So the sun has finally made an appearance above the clouds. Yay. But um, I'm uh, halfway down from the ridge that I was filming up, film that I was recording from from before. So uh, still making my way down until I'm on level, level pegging with uh, Clinique Fawn Far, I think. <laughs> So yeah, so I'm just carrying on. But I thought uh, the sun's made an appearance, so I thought I'd uh, put that in the shot. I finally made it to the shore of Clinny Fan 4, if that's uh, again how you pronounce it. Got it behind me in the background. So yeah, I'm just making my way around clockwise, then end up on that uh, that little bit of shore that sticks out into the lake where I was uh, where I was recording yesterday, and then straight back down the hill. It's nice, nice and calm, so it's uh, it's been quite a nice walk. Onwards and downwards. So that's me almost back at the car now. I hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I've enjoyed making it. If you did, please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And uh, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. And uh, I will do my utmost best to answer everyone, which I am still able to do because the channel's not still, still growing. If you did, if you do feel like commenting, please feel free to do so. But for this adventure, when I am getting a little bit warm, it's almost coming up to eight o'clock and I've been up since about half past four, waiting for the sunrise. So that's me finished. The car's just ahead of me in the car park. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs>